Sir Topham Hatt's engines love their work. Gordon likes pulling the express. Thomas likes his branch line. And Percy likes taking the mail. But none of them likes being a middle engine. It's no fun being stuck in the middle. One morning, Percy was cheerfully collecting cars from the smelter yards where Ari and Bert worked. They liked to play tricks on steam engines. Percy didn't want to fall for their tricks again. But before he knew it, he was stuck in the middle. Oh, bother, chuffed Percy crossly. Little green piggy in the middle, Ari teased. Percy's driver was cross. With cars in front of him and cars behind, Percy had to go slowly. James was in the yards when Percy steamed slowly by. <laughs> it's Pokey Percy, James laughed. You wouldn't be laughing if you were stuck in the middle, Percy fumed. And he fumed all the way to the coaling plant. One by one, he shunted his cars onto the tipper's loading ramp and the coal was unloaded. Percy was not allowed to cross the loading ramp until the tipper had been turned off. It was against the rules. But as soon as his driver and fireman left, there was trouble. Henry arrived to pick up coal. He bumped into the cars, and the cars bumped into Percy. Percy was pushed onto the loading ramp. Help! cried Percy. Percy was hoisted up. Tipped over. and brought back down again. After Percy was lowered back onto the ground, the manager was very cross. You have caused confusion and delay, he said. I'll have to report this to Sir Topham Hatt. That night, Sir Topham Hatt spoke severely to Percy. I'm very disappointed in you, Percy, he said. You know it's against the rules to go on to the tipper's loading ramp. Sorry, sir, Percy said sadly, but it wasn't my fault. It's because those diesels made me a middle engine. Nevertheless, you will shunt freight cars in the yards until I can get to the bottom of this. Ha! <laughs> said James, thinking no one could hear. I could handle those diesels with bent buffers and a busted boiler. Then you will do Percy's run to the smelter, said Sir Topham Hatt. Yes, sir, said James. The next day, James arrived at the smelter. He was determined not to be tricked by Ari and Bert. Hello, James, oozed Ari. Come to learn a thing or two from those who know. Just get my freight cars ready and stay out of my way, huffed James importantly. Yes, sir, Bert chimed greasily. James cheerfully backed up to his freight cars. He was certain he had fooled Ari and Bert, but he was wrong. Little red piggy in the middle, chortled Ari. Just like Percy, jeered Bert. I am not like Percy, huffed James. I'm not a middle engine and I'm not moving. And he didn't. When Sir Topham Hatt heard the news, he sent Percy to fetch James. This made Percy happy. He buffered up to James and took him, along with all the freight cars, to the docks. Right on time, said the manager. But what is that big red engine doing in the middle? Learning, Percy replied. Learning what? <laughs> Learning to be a middle engine, Percy laughed. James covered himself in steam, hoping no one would recognize him. But it was no good. There was only one big red engine on the island, and everyone knows his name is James.